Hey guys, Brett Mess here. Happy Monday. Um, yes, just gonna be honest, it's gonna probably be the first unboxing of August. Which, yes, y'all know the end of July is over. We're in August now. Um, so yeah, we got Tooth Grinder and Tooth Nasher. Which, the title of the video, I'm just gonna put like, Happy Monday and Happy Meal Toy on 10 unboxing. Happy Meal Toy 10 Tooth Grind Tooth Ooze Grinder and Nasher. That's all I was gonna say. But yeah, let's go ahead and get them out of the, the packaging and see what they do. Alright guys, so Yeah, uh this is their gimmick here. Yeah, they're bobbleheads. Uh which one is Tooth Grinder and Tooth Na Nasher? I want to say the white one is Tooth Nasher, and the brown one is Tooth Grinder. So all they do is just bobble around. Here's the end of the boat. Now, yes, if you guys have all ten toys, you get to build the boat. So yeah, guys, um, what did you guys thoughts about the first unboxing of August? Anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, so, first unboxing, 2.1.1.5 of, um, August unboxing. So, yes, um, go unbox this one. I'm going to probably display on my bed. Because, I mean, it's literally nothing to use it for. Wow, it is really, really small. It's a good stuff John Cena plush. Um, there we go. I removed the little tag off. Look at that! Okay, honestly, he looks absolutely nothing like John Cena. I would say he looks more like a baseball player than John Cena. I mean, he has the WWE logo, the scratchy one that people, that they stopped using back in 2014. Brown shorts, knee pads on the front, not on the back. 10 years strong. So, yeah, guys. I uh, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Kids. Hey guys, Brad Metz here. So yes, um, yep, back with another unboxing video. So yes, I did one three days ago. This one is from Lukey Games, and it was really weird. They wrote three out of three hundred six. That's just weird. I have never seen people did that. And yes, um. I think this is my Nintendo DS game I just bought last week. So here we go. Yep, is it? This is it. It's actually one of the Call of Duty games. Here it is, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Um, yes, I think this is like the last Nintendo DS game that they released for Call the Call of Duty games. Uh, the last Nintendo DS game I unboxed was, I want to say like SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 on the Nintendo DS. So yeah, it's like the same covers like on the other copies. Get your little, um, extractions. Booklet connections and all that. And the little game itself. So yeah guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Alright guys, so I'm back with an unboxing video. So this one... Um... Also bought like, last weekend. Pretty much shocked to see what it is. 
Um, yeah, this is actually the third unboxing I am doing of August. And yes, guys, I will uh, post a compilation unboxing of the three unboxings I just did this month. At the end of uh, August. Maybe on the 31st or 30th. I don't know. I'll give you guys an update on it. But, uh, yeah, we just got to unbox the Call of Duty Modern Warfare on the Nintendo 3DS. Pretty I'm excited to play it. I played a Call of Duty game in years. So, this one, I think, ain't good. I'm trying to figure out what it is. But, uh, let's just see what it is. Oh, what? Oh, man, and my childhood is coming back to me. It is toy, it's the Cartoon Eric Adventure Time. Toy number five. Sore swinging, swinging, swinging bin. Oh, man, I used to play with this all the time when I was, like, 11 years old. Yes, Cartoon Eric did have toys at McDonald's back then. Like, for, like, Adventure Time, uh, Foster Software, Imaginary Friends, Camp, Camp Laszlo. Yeah, is it? From an arm of Phil Rubbery. Rubbery. But yeah, here he is at the package. Um, this is actually his gimmick. Got it all the way from eBay. Because you don't really see these type of toys at McDonald's no more. So yeah, guys. So if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys. Brent Mess here. I am back with another review. So yes, um, this is actually going to be part of a... Um, which I am going to probably make a part three video of this. Because, you know, I'm making, like, a compilation video for this month's unboxing until I upload, like, some point by the 30th or 31st of August. Or maybe just the 1st of next month. Who really knows? But, yes, um, y'all know this is, I actually picked this up from Walmart yesterday. It's the Marvel Studios Legacy Collection Black Panther Slash Claw. Now, yes, um, you can see the little instructions right here. Um, I was originally supposed to buy this at Target for next month, but I'm actually surprised Walmart actually stocked, got in stocked since, um, two days ago, I think. But yeah, let's go ahead and take it out of the pla cardboard pack back. So, here we go. Okay, guys, okay, so, yeah, uh, you can see this little Velcro here, um, sort of like a Velcro. So, yeah, uh, it was a little bit of a pain to get on, but not complaining, so, this is actually the gimmick. Pretty neat. And there's also, like, a little latch here that you could edit, too. Because I started to try that. But, um, anyway, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoy your Tuesday. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys, Brett Mass here. I am back with another unboxing video. So, yes, uh, I'm back. Uh, so, yes, we got My Hero's, My Hero Academia World Mission Heroes. It actually just came out on Blu ray today. Uh, so yeah, this was released in theaters last year. So now. Look at that, they got embossed too. Pretty cool, right? Uh, so yes, look at the background. Look at what Deku's doing. He's doing a John Cena reference. So yeah, uh, the last movie I did an unboxing on, I want to say it was Uncharted. I mean, that's like the only thing I sort of remember. Actually, no way. It was Ant-Man and the Wasp. So here's the front, the side, the side. Their fight is our future. When a sensor organization threatens to wipe out superhuman powers, Warren Ryan Deku, Turtle World, Gia, and Bakugo. 
I mean, Bagago and Todoroki have two hours to stop the stations collapse, but there's a one problem. Deku's on the, the nation most wanted list. I can't wait really to see this movie. I'll probably do a review of it on my DVR, so let's go ahead and unbox it, shall we? Alright, guys, so here's the movie out of its wrap. And yeah, it's just doing it's just a little advertisement for uh, an app. So anyway guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.